Street Fighter 6 can be hilarious because at any moment in the corner, you can just do a surprise unblockable on your opponent and feel like you're a good player. Hi, I'm Shin Lai, and it's a beautiful day to fight in the streets. So lately when I knock down my opponent close to the corner, I've been going for a lot of meaty drive impacts, and I've had a surprisingly high success rate. Here's why. The first reason is because I'm good and they're bad. But to be more specific, drive impacts have a 26 frame startup. This means any knockdown that is plus 26, you can land a meaty drive impact. So what's to stop your opponent from just reacting and drive impacting back? Well, it's a bit of a gimmick, but often players are reacting and hitting drive impact back, but the character has not gotten off the ground yet, so they hit the drive impact button and nothing comes out. They have to adjust their counter drive impact so it comes out during reversal timing. Since this is the media attack, this will be any wake up grab, jump, or normal attack. This can come in handy during any checkmate scenarios, such as your opponent is burnt out and has no super gauge. So, how to get around this? The most obvious is to get reversal drive impact timing down. I would suggest option selecting a drive parry with your drive impact, just in case you don't press drive impact at the right timing. OD reversals work as well. Again, I suggest option selecting with drive parry. Click the link for the video I have on this. Supers with invincibility also work. And good old reliable drive parry. If you have your reversal drive parry timing down, this is a pretty easy perfect parry. Let me know in the comments what your favorite meaty drive impact setups are. I like to do mine after a meaty kick spiral arrow or a spaced out heavy punch pinwheel. I don't know what to tell you, but thanks for watching.